I'm just trying to think a little bit of the question from Leah, uh, thinking like, okay, how can I how can I understand what's my best path forward to learn something, and how yeah. can I you know filter the clutter that is out there? So I wonder in which way were different these experiences of like you know studying letter design in an academic institution and studying or learning um, illustration, um, self-thought? Um, the academic pathway, it's more like, I mean, this is true and not true, but let's say in an easy way to explain this, you are fed. Someone is giving you with a spoon hmm. food and you are sitting there and getting the information. Now, you can be passive or active. If you are passive getting this information, it's going to take a long time for you to digest it. Mm -hmm. If you are active getting fed, you are going to learn really fast because you have all the tools and all the people there to answer questions. That means you have to ask questions. Mm -hmm. And in my personal opinion, for in order for you to have questions, you have to study. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know, you don't know what you don't know, and you cannot ask so many questions. Mm. So if you are an active student, uh, you will have the opportunity of asking a lot of things because you have someone in front of you to answer your questions. Mm. Also, you have a community, which is fantastic because you will have so many things in common with classmates, with other people that are studying the same as you. Um, if you are self-taught, you're going to learn slower because mm -hmm. no one is feeding you the food to learn. You have to find your own ways. Some people have the personality very specific for self-learning. Mm -hmm. And these people will have a great time because mm -hmm. they don't feel like I want someone to tell me how to learn or how to do it in this way. I want to find out in my own way. I want to figure it out. And this is depending on your personality.